Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and whichever time you're watching this, welcome to SSC and welcome to the 23rd day of Static GK Quiz Show, in which we shall be discussing sports, polity, and organizations. There are a total of 20 MCQs. So let's proceed. I request everyone to participate in the quiz, as at the end of each question, you will be given a 10 seconds timer during which you can write the correct answer. And at the end, do check that how much do you score out of 20. So let's proceed. The PDF of entire sessions till now and further, you will get it for rupees 300. For this, send a message to 77970586594 PDF. So, let's proceed. The first section that is from sports, it's the continuation from the previous day that is day 22. So, the first question with which game does Davis Cup is associated? Davis Cup, the options are there, and your time begins now. Davis Cup is associated with which game? Hockey. Table tennis, Lord tennis, or pool. Davis Cup. So Davis Cup, it is associated with lawn tennis. Okay, so it's a uh, men's lawn tennis. Uh, Davis Cup, it's associated with lawn tennis. Let's go to the next question. Wellington Trophy is related to which game? The options are there, and your time begins now. Wellington Trophy, rowing, hockey, tennis, or polo. Wellington Trophy. So, Wellington Trophy, it is related to rowing. Okay, rowing. Next uh, question. What is the name of the official mascot of Qatar World Cup 2022, which is, uh, which is currently happening right now, right? So, mascot of Qatar World Cup. Okay, mascot means a lucky sign, a lucky symbol for Qatar World Cup 2022. Zakumi, Striker, Fuleko or Laib? The correct answer is Laib. Okay, Laib is the official mascot for 2022 FIFA World Cup, which is happening in Qatar. So, remember this. Next question. Who represented India at the inaugural FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar? So, who was the person representing India? The options are there and your time begins now. Was it PM Narendra Modi, Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, or Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar. The correct answer is Vice President of India, who is Jagdeep Dhankar. He represented India at the inauguration of FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Okay, so this is it. Next question For which sports will the Tribal Affairs Ministry be setting up academics to train tribal children? The options are there, and your time begins now. Okay, recently in uh, November only. Tribal Affairs Minister Azwan Munda announced this that he will be setting up academies to train tribal children. That academy will be of which sport? The correct answer is archery. Okay, so as I was saying, Union Minister of Tribal Affairs, who is Arjun Munda, has said that the government has decided to set up 100 archery academies in the country to promote the talent amongst tribal children by nurturing their archery skills. Okay, it's a news of November 2022. So, it's more of a current affairs. Okay. Next. What is the name of the football used in the FIFA World Cup 2022? Very important one. Okay. The name was actually already announced a few months before, but this becomes important. Zibulani, Telstar, Mekta, Al Rehila, or Brazuka. The name of football. The correct answer is Al Rehila. Okay. Al Rehila, which means Journey in Arabic, it's the name of the football used in FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar and it has been made by German multinational company which is very famous Adidas. Okay, so Adidas which is a German multinational company has made this football and the name of the football is Al Rihila used in the FIFA World Cup 2022 happening in Qatar right away. So this is it. Next question. Who won Formula 1? Uh, Abu Dhabi race or Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2022 the options are there and your time begins now is it the Dutch player Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez or Sebastian Vettel the correct answer is Max Verstappen who is a Dutch player that is from Netherlands who plays from the team Red Bull he won Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2022 22. Okay, Max Verstappen. Next question. Who uh, has been uh, unveiled as the mascot for the 
2024 Paris Olympics. Okay, 20, uh, who has been unveiled or the more appropriate question would be what has been unveiled. Okay, I'll correct it. The options are there and your time begins now. You be the tiger, Sebastian, Firian, Cap or Bucky Bazaar. 2024 Paris Olympics. As you know that the next Olympics will be hosted by Paris. Summer Olympics. Okay, Paris in France. And the correct answer is okay it's written max wisdom but the correct answer is ferian cap okay i'll correct it in pdf ferian cap which is a symbol of french republic but wearing sneakers has a nod to the uh, present was unveiled as the mascot for the year 2024 paris olympics okay 2022 was tokyo olympics can anyone say that what was the mascot for 2020 tokyo olympics which happened in of course 2021 due to covid okay so please write if you know okay if you remember the mascot of 2020 tokyo olympics okay and this question which says that the mascot of 2024 paris olympics the future one next happening it is ferian cap okay the symbol of french republic so i hope it is clear i'll correct this answer in the pdf next question how many member councils are there in international cricket council how many member countries the options are there and your time begins now I think you should know it okay ICC the apex body for international cricket how many members total are there in ICC the correct answer is 108 option B e. okay so ICC it is the world governing body of cricket everyone knows it right it's headquartered in Dubai I think this also everyone knows okay in Dubai UAE so there are total of 108 national associations 12 are the full members and 96 are the associate members okay and as you know that icc it was founded in 1909 as the imperial cricket conference and it was renamed as international cricket conference in 1965 and took up its current name which is international cricket council in 1987 so i hope it's clear the icc has 108 member nations currently okay 12 full members that play the test matches and 96 associate members okay so i hope it is clear can anyone tell in the comment is india a full member or associate member okay so please write okay is india a full member of icc or associate member of icc so with this let's go to the next question the last one in this section in a standard volleyball game the number of players on each side is how much okay in a standard volleyball game the options are there and your time begins now 10 8 6 or 4 on each side there are how many players total So in volleyball on each side there are a team of six players it's okay separated by a net each team tries to score points by grounding a ball on the other team's court under organized rules so i hope it's clear six is the correct answer so with this we complete sports now let's go to political okay it's also the continuation from the previous day that is day 22. so in the polity section all five questions are the previous year's questions okay so this is going to be very very important the first question which one of the following is associated with the issue of control and phasing out of the use of ozone depleting substances and this question was precisely asked in under secretary 2017 prelims of spsc so very important okay so the options are there and your time begins uh wait and your time begins now Bretton woods conference montreal protocol Kyoto Protocol or Nagoya Protocol. Issue, uh, issue of control and phasing out of the use of ozone depleting substances. The conference or the protocol related to this is the Montreal Protocol. Okay, it's, it's an international treaty and it was designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances that are responsible for ozone depletion. I think one of the more important substance uh, depleting ozone is cfc chlorofluorocarbons okay we all have studied in our elementary classes and on this montreal protocol it was agreed uh, that the uh, production of substances will be phased out okay that that is it will be slowed down and it was signed in 1987 16th of september i think 16th september every year we celebrate as world ozone day yeah 16th september right world ozone day also and uh, it was signed in uh, montreal which is a city in canada okay the second most populated city after ottawa the capital of canada and uh, that's why it is known as montreal protocol right so 19 
87 it was agreed and 1989 it was signed okay it was entered into force in 1st january 1989 and it was uh, agreed or signed in 16th uh, september 1987 okay uh, sorry it was signed in 16th september 1987 yeah signed and uh, entered into force on 1st january 1989 okay sorry for the confusion so i hope it is clear so just uh, remember 16th september 1987 okay so this is the important year 1987 it was the date when this uh, montreal protocol was signed let's see the other options as well Bretton woods conference it will it is formally known as a un monetary and financial conference it was the gathering of 730 delegates from all 44 allied nations at the mount washington hotel situated in Bretton woods new hampshire united states okay that's why Bretton woods conference it was done to regulate the international monetary and financial order after the conclusion of the world war ii and it was held on july 1 to 22 1944 so Bretton woods conference so kyoto protocol it was in treaty uh, which extended the 1992 un framework convention on climate change and it was signed on 11th december 1997 Nagoya Protocol, it was signed on 29th of October 2010 and it was a supplementary agreement to the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity that is UNCBD. Okay, so these are the protocols, important one can be asked. Okay, so just have a look. You can pause the video if you want to uh, look it, to it attentively. Next, that was the next question. Consider the following about the Attorney General of India. First, of, uh, first point, he is appointed by the President of India. Second point, he must have the same qualification as required for the Judge of the Supreme Court. Third point, he must be a member of either House of the Parliament. Or the fourth point, he can be removed by impeachment by Parliament. The question is, which of the statements are correct? One, two, three, four. The options are there and your time begins now. About the Attorney General of India. Is it one and two, one and three? 2, 3, and 4, or 3, and 4, or Attorney General of India. If you want to take more time, you can pause the screen. So, the correct answer to this question is uh, 1 and 2 only. Okay, 1 and 2 only. And this is also a previous year question. As I was saying that all the questions in this section are previous year questions only. So, this was also precisely asked in under Secretary 2017 prelims. So, very important. Okay, 1 and 2. Uh, only is the correct answer a okay so first of all attorney general is appointed by president of india it's true and attorney general of india must have the same qualification as required for the judge of a supreme court okay so it, this is also true let's see uh, what are the qualifications for attorney general of india and judge of supreme court first of all to be both agi and supreme court judge he or she should be an indian citizen okay that's a preliminary condition mandatory one and uh, the second condition is he or she must have either completed five years in high court of any indian state as a judge or 10 years in high court as an advocate and the third is he or she must be an eminent jurist too in the eye of the president so all these three conditions are uh, mandatory for being attorney general of india and also judge of supreme court okay and who is the current attorney general of india he is R. Vain Katiramani. Okay, R. Vain Katiramani is the incumbent attorney general of India as on October 2022. Okay, so I hope it is clear. And let me tell you that attorney general of India is the first uh, law officer of India. Okay, first law officer of India, attorney general of India, and current first law officer of India is R. Vain Katiramani. He succeeded K. K. Venugopal. Okay, before R. Vain Katiramani, it was K. K. Venugopal in the chair. Okay, in the chair of attorney general of India, AGI. I hope it is clear. Let's go to the next question. Which of the following features was adopted from the Constitution of Canada? Again, this is also a previous question. Precisely asked in under Secretary 2017 prelims. The options are there and your time begins now. Which feature was adopted from the Constitution of Canada? Single citizenship, fundamental rights, federal system with a strong center, fundamental duties. The correct answer is federal system with a strong center. So these are the features which were borrowed from Canadian uh, uh, sorry, constitution. A quasi-federal of a uh, form of government, the first point, uh, it was borrowed from Canadian constitution and a federal system with strong central government distribution, which was the answer to this question as well. Residual powers of the central government, Supreme Court's advisory jurisdiction and center's power to appoint 
governance of state. So these are the points. Okay, you can pause the screen and have a close look on it. So this is it. Next uh, question. The okay, the answer got revealed. Anyways, the citizenship of India may be lost by uh, the answer is all of the above. That is renunciation, termination, and deprivation. Okay, so this is pretty clear. So it was also asked in under secretary 2017 prelims. Okay, a bonus marks for you. So as you can see, uh, this was laid down by the Citizenship Act 1955. So remember this one. Okay, when was the Citizenship Act? Uh, it was enacted. It was enacted in 1955. It lays down the three modes by which an Indian citizen, whether a citizen at the commencement of constitution or subsequent to it, may lose his or her citizenship. It may happen in any of the three ways. That is, renunciation, termination or deprivation okay so this is it bonus marks for you next question the 73rd amendment focuses on what again this is a previous year question 73rd amendment the options are there and your time begins now panchayats municipalities land reforms or inclusion of three languages the 73rd amendment the correct answer is it focuses on panchayat as you can see the 73rd Amendment Act, it was passed in 1992 and it came into effect on 24th April 1993. Okay, I think this we have already discussed in one of the previous sessions as well. And there was a mistake also and I corrected in the comment box. Okay, so I just forgot which session. I think day 7, day or 8 or something like that. Okay, uh, the Act for Panchayati Raj, I guess. Okay, so this, is, this was the constitution that is 73rd amendment act it was passed in 1992 it came into effect in 24th april 1993 and this empowered state governments to take the necessary steps that would lead to the formalizations of the gram panchayat and help them operate as units of self government so recently we had a panchayat elections in sikkim as well so this question is very very relevant from that point of view so please have a close look on it so this is it the 73rd amendment related to panchayat it was passed in 1992 came into effect in 24th april 1993 i think 24th april is the day on which we celebrate national panchayati raj day i don't know i i'm just guessing it okay 24th april please correct me if i'm wrong okay so let's go to the next question now we come to organization we have five more questions from organizations and then we'll wind up the session how many member countries are there in asean the options are there and your time begins now asean number of member countries are there 10 countries 11 countries 12 countries or 13 countries in asean the correct answer is there are 10 member countries what is asean asean is an association of southeast asian nations okay the full form and definition both right association of southeast asian nations asean it was founded in 1967 headquartered at jakarta indonesia and there are 10 member countries and let me tell you that india is not the member of asean please have a look which are the member countries of asean and uh, india asean uh, friendship year okay india asean friendship year it is 2022 okay the, this year is designated as india asean friendship year so this is it so next question where is the headquarter of saarc sark the options are there and your time begins now New Delhi, Dhaka, Kathmandu, or Beijing. Sark. The time is over. The correct answer is Kathmandu, Nepal. What is Sark? It is South Asian Corporation for Regional. Okay, South Asian Association for Regional Corporation. I'll correct this in the PDF. Okay, South Asian Association for Regional Corporation is the full form of Sark right it was founded in 1985 and founded at dhaka bangladesh and its current headquarter is at okay again it's in Kathmandu, nepal but then here it is written as jakarta indonesia i'll correct this and there are eight member countries in sark okay afghanistan Bang uh, bangladesh bhutan india maldives nepal pakistan and sri lanka so as you can see we just saw this uh, asean in asean there are brunei cambodia indonesia leos Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. And here you can see that Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. So there are no common countries between ASEAN and SARC. Okay, so remember this. Okay, no common countries. Now we come to the next question. Who is the current Secretary General of 
Beamstick. The options are there and your time begins now. Beamstick. Tenting leg fill. Masat Suga Sakawa. Esala Ruan Virkon or Raguram Raja. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Tenzing leg fill. Sorry for my voice. I am having a little neck issues. Anyways, Tenzing leg fill is the current Secretary General of Bimstech. Fine. So, what is Bimstech? Let's see. Bimstech, the full form of Bimstech is Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi Sectoral Technical and Economic Corporation. Quite a long uh, abbreviation, but I think if you are used to it, you should remember it. Okay. Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. Okay. If you are new to this abbreviation, then just see it for one twice, uh, once, twice, or thrice. I think you will remember it. It was founded in 1997, headquartered at Dhaka, Bangladesh. There are seven countries member of this BIMSTEC uh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Myanmar, Nepal, Thailand, and Sri Lanka. Okay. And the Secretary General is Tenjing Lepel, who is from Bhutan, which was the answer to this question. Masad Sugasakawa is the Secretary General of, uh, I think, Asian Development Bank. Yeah. Esala Ruvan Virakun, we just saw that he is the Secretary General of SARC, I guess. Yeah, SARC, okay, S A R C, South Asian Corporation for Association for Regional Corporation. Okay, so this is it. Uh, we are done with BAMS Tech. Now, the second last question What does A stands in NATO? A, okay, the options are there and your time begins now. A in NATO, what does it mean? Asian, Arabic, Atlantic, or Algerian? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Atlantic, which means what is the full form of NATO? I think everyone knows it, right? North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It's called uh, North Atlantic Alliance as well, and it's an intergovernmental military alliance between 30 member states. Uh, 28 are, uh, are the European and two are the North American. Can anyone tell that which are the two North American nations which are the part of NATO? Okay, so please tell if you know in the comment box. One is USA, which is the other one. Uh, it was founded in 1949, NATO, it, it's headquartered at uh, Brussels, Belgium. There are 30 uh, country members, as I said, 20 European, 2 North American. And Secretary General is Jens Stoltenberg, who is from Norway. Okay, he was re-elected recently, so this can be asked in exam as well. So remember it, Jens Stoltenberg. So this was about NATO. Now let's come to the last question of this uh, session. The options are there. The question is, what does F stands in FATF. So your time begins now. F is it financial force, future or fitness? The correct answer is financial. What does F FATF mean? It means financial action task force. Okay, it's also known by its friend's name that is Group the Action Financiere and it's an intergovernmental organization founded in 1989 as you can see on the initiative of G7 countries to develop policies to combat money laundering and to maintain certain interest. So just remember that FATF is an initiative of G7 countries. Okay, G7 countries. Uh, which are the G7 countries if you know? Okay, G7, Germany, uh, Britain. Um, I'm just forgetting. Germany, Brit uh, Brazil is there. Uh, please, please write if you know. Okay, I am forgetting this. Uh, there are seven G7 countries. Okay, as it says G7. Okay, so uh, members are 39 countries of this FATF. Secretary General is T. Raja Kumar. He was also recently elected. So it can be asked. He's from Singapore. So this was about FATF. So with this we complete the session. Please write in the comments that how much did you score out of 20. Let us revise all these questions quickly. From sports, we saw that Davis Cup is associated with lawn tennis. Wellington Trophy is associated with rowing. Official mascot of Qatar World Cup is Laib. And uh, the Indian representative of uh, uh, India at uh, inaugural FIFA World Cup in Qatar. He was Jagdeep Dhankar, Vice President. And uh, Tribal Affairs Ministry it uh, have announced to set up archery academies for tribal children training. And the name of football used in FIFA World Cup 2022 is Al Rehila, okay, which means journey in Arabic. It's been made by Adidas, okay, which is a German multinational company. Uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix has been won by Max Verstappen. We saw that 2024 Paris Olympics 
it's a Fijian cap and we saw that there are total of 108 member countries in ICC and in standard a volleyball game we saw that there are six players on each of the side of net right and then we saw in the polity that uh, Montreal protocol is associated associated with the issue of control in phasing out of use of ozone depleting substances okay so basically Montreal protocol is related to ozone fine and then we saw other as well a Bretton Woods conference Kyoto protocol Nagoya protocol you can pause the screen and have a close look and then we saw that attorney general Finde, the first law officer uh, the answer was a one and two that is he is appointed by president of India and he must have the same qualification as required for the judge of Supreme Court okay so these were the qualification for easy in Supreme Court and R. Venkati Ramani is the incumbent attorney general of India succeeding KK Venugopal right and then we saw that uh, federal system with a stronger center was the feature which was adopted from the constitution of Canada and uh, we saw that the citizen of India may be lost by renunciation, termination, and depri deprivation. It was according to the Citizenship Act 1955. And then we saw 73rd Amendment focuses on panchayats. So talking about organization, we saw ASEAN. There are a total of 10 members founded in 1967, headquartered in Jakarta, Indonesia. 10 countries members. India is not a member of ASEAN. And India ASEAN Friendship Year 2022. Talking about SARC, it's headquartered at Kathmandu, Nepal, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, founded 1985, headquartered in Kathmandu, Nepal. There are eight member countries in SARC. Secretary General is Asala Ruan Virakun, who is from Sri Lanka. And then we saw Secretary General of BIMSTEC is Tenzing Lekpel, BIMSTEC, Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation, founded 1997, headquartered Dhaka, Bangladesh. Seven countries are the member, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Myanmar, Nepal, Thailand, Sri Lanka. Secretary General is Tenzing Lekpen, Bhutan, we just saw. And the last, NATO, which is Nordic Atlantic Treaty Organization, founded 1949, headquarters Brussels, Belgium. There are 30 member countries, 28 European, 2 North American. Secretary General is Jens Stoltenberg from Norway, recently elected. And FATF, Financial Action Task Force, founded 1989, headquartered Paris, France. There are 39 member countries. Secretary General is T. Raza Kumar, who is from Singapore. So with this, we complete all. 20 questions revision as well for pdf you can get it in rupees 300 only the entire series pdf for this send a message to 77970586 so i hope the session was fruitful thank you so much for staying till the end don't forget to like share and subscribe to ssc second bye bye